I got another verde of understanding for not just educators, but everybody in the world. Um, two days ago, I got on the airplane um, on the way to the Houstons and did what I usually do, which is act like I'm sleeping so I don't got to talk to the person next to me because I want to rest. And somebody sat next to me and I felt a tap on my shoulder. It was a young man. He introduced himself. He said, I'm 16 years old and I'm going into eighth grade. I can't wait to get home to get my school supplies. And I thought I'd really like to sleep right now. Then he said, what is in your backpack? And I said, my computer. He said, let me show you what's in mine. Then he proceeded to get all the things that he had bought at the Disney World with his aunt out and told me how much each one cost and whether they were a good deal or not. Then he asked me to switch seats because he wanted to see what it was like to fly up in the sky like a bird. So we switched seats. And then when we were in the sky, he switched back. He said, can you switch back? Because if that window breaks, I don't want to get sucked out of the window. And then he told me I wouldn't get sucked out of the window because I was too big. I didn't appreciate that, but I didn't tell him. And then he asked me if I wanted to play a, a guessing game. I had to guess how many times he could snap his fingers in 10 seconds. And I was wrong. And then I had to guess how many uh, seconds he could hold his breath. And I was wrong again. And then I had to guess how many coins were in his pocket. I was right on that one because I said zero. He said, oh, that was a trick question. I didn't trick you. What do you do? And I said, I'm a principal. He said, principals are very smart. I said, you don't know something, uh, all the principals. I didn't say that. I was just thinking it. And then he said, will you watch my Coke? I don't want nobody to touch it. And so I watched his Coke when he went to the bathroom. He came back and he said, you did a good job um, uh, um, watching my Coke. It didn't move. And I said, how do you know I didn't stick my finger in it? He asked the, 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 the um, airline lady for another Coke. That was pretty funny. And then when we got off, he said, my stepmom's going to meet me at the gate. And we got off at the gate. And she weren't there. And he looked real nervous. And I said, well, we're at C-12. Is that where she's supposed to be? He said, yeah. Um, and I said, let's call her on the phone. He said, she's not going to understand you. She's from Taiwan. And I got her on the phone, but she understood a little. And see, she was at baggage claim C between 1 and 2. And we was at gate C-12. And I said, we got to go to baggage claim. So I walked into baggage claim. And I kept saying, okay, this is the word baggage claim. This is the arrow. And he, every time we would see baggage claim, he said, let's go this way, let's go that way. And then we got the baggage claim, and I could see it down there. I said, look, there's baggage claim number seven. Go down this escalator and just walk down there. You're going. She's going to be at one. He said, well, what if she's not there? Will you go with me? I didn't want to go with him because I wanted to go to the Spank store. They have a Spank store in the Houston airport, but I went down there anyways. And then I had to come all the way back through TSA. Let me tell you what your understanding needs to be today. When you don't talk to people that are different from you, you miss blessings. And I don't mean little blessings. You miss big old blessings. That child was a blessing in my life. He thanked me nine times walking to baggage claim for helping him. Unbelievable. And let me tell you what else. Here's what I kept thinking. What if this was my child? You see, everybody's got a child that was different. So what would you do if a child sat down next to you with purple hair or their fingernails, a boy with his fingernails um, uh, polished up? Or a boy, boy that didn't talk like you or talk too much. You see, everybody's got a, a, a child that's different one way or another. What would you have done? And then lastly, some people are going to say, what a great coincidence that you sat next to that young man. That weren't no coincidence. Just saying.